I'm a chartered accountant by profession. I've been cycling since I was very young. I bring my bike everywhere I go. So as I go into my adulthood, cycling was part of my life, was part of my passion. Cycling gives me the freedom and when I cycle, a gathered thought of a different version of myself is unshackled. There's this term I have heard of, life is like riding a bicycle. To stay balanced, you must keep on moving. Hello, this is Alex Lee and I am from New Infinity. Today's episode on Design Seed, we will be revealing a double-storey corner terrace house that has been transformed into a unique spacious home that caters for this young family. We wanted a home that revolved around our daily habits and lifestyle. I work in the city, which is uh, quite a bit of distance from here, and I really wanted a place or a home that makes me look forward to returning every day. My husband is a pretty good cook, and he really enjoys his time in the kitchen. So we always dream of having a home that could fit an island in the dry kitchen. But we couldn't really figure out how was that possible with the original floor plan. We took the advantage of the corner unit land size to extend the property to cater for our client's brief. However, at the midst of doing so, we wanted to create a statement. Something that not only functions as an extra square feet to the property, but something that would boost the daily lifestyle for this young family. The rear visual of the back lane to the property was rather unsightly. We decided not to have any windows facing the rear, but creating a skylight above to allow natural lighting and at the same time, give the narrow wet kitchen a more spacious approach. A large window and door opening on the right side allows a good flow of natural air ventilation while the kitchen is in use. Additional to that, a ceiling mounted fan directs the heat out through the opening to assist with quicker heat dispersion. A dividing glass door seals the wet kitchen from the rest of the interior, keeping the oil and smell away, but still allowing the natural lighting from the skylight to penetrate into the space. Imagine having some greens as a view alongside while you're cooking in the kitchen and not having to struggle with dim lightings with the entire stretch of skylight right above you. This one and a half story tree showers astonishing shadows into the space, complementing the extension of the dry kitchen area. What seemed to be crude and claimed as a raw material for construction has now been regarded as a statement that changes the streetscapes of this humble neighborhood. The neighbors started naming the property as the Brick House. As the location is just a shy away from the playground, it isn't a struggle to notice. Occasionally, we even have kids running outside taking snapshots of the brick wall. The brick wall extension design wasn't just for aesthetic reasons. The architectural approach was to block out the afternoon sun that blazes into the interior of the property. It was definitely challenging to build such a brick wall structure at the exterior, being exposed to rain and shine. Workmanship and alignment of the method of laying and of course, the inconsistency of the natural colour of the bricks were all needed to be monitored and pre-selected. The installation of the skylight above required multiple visits of testing and commissioning to ensure there weren't any water leakages. At any one time, four to six courageous workers were needed to mobilise the installation of the skylight, floating in mid-air of a two-storey property. All the hardship was definitely worthwhile when the end product looks like this.
Window openings on both sides of the extension allows fluent cross ventilation that gives a cooling breeze that drifts across the interior. Having the dream island that the owners always craved for, it had to be paired with a sophisticated finish. This natural marble called the Palato Grigio, origin from Turkey, is a grey natural stone which comes with compelling wings. The kitchen island is now a daily spot where the owners enjoy their breakfast in the morning, especially delighting to have during times like this in the light of the COVID-19. Much time is spent at home. The living and dining area has a comfortable spatial quality with the kitchen extended to the back. The existing floor tiles were demolished and replaced with timber boards to give the home a cosier touch. Due to the lifestyle of the owners, the entrance foyer was segmented in a different floor finish. This approach was to give the entrance foyer and the staircase brick wall a matching primitive character that complements the dry kitchen extension at the rear of the property. A final touch to the design was to place the owner's personal character alongside the feature brick wall at the staircase that also acts as the dividing wall that hides the storeroom underneath the staircase. Not forgetting the powder room, an inviting yet quirky design space with stylish pendant lamps and a round mirror makes this standard bathroom an interesting makeover. Moving on to the first floor, it is fairly rare for us to come across clients which would explore space planning in reducing the number of rooms rather than adding them. The owners had an interesting request where they specifically highlighted that they wanted a large bedroom with a walk-in closet and a large bathroom with a rain shower. The master bathroom was originally too small to begin with to fit the client's brief. The master bedroom could forcefully fit a stretch of wardrobe and a king-size bed but that would only mean that there wasn't any room for a possible bathroom extension. What we did after digesting the full client's brief was extraordinary, something that we rarely have the opportunity to explore. We extended the bathroom to cater for a large shower area, compromising the existing master bedroom size. We turned this room into a walk-in closet. master bedroom out to the family hall which has a beautiful double volume ceiling. Tear down the third bedroom wall which now extends the new master bedroom into an extended work studio. This makes the master bedroom size three times the size of the existing space. A large sliding door divides the guest bedroom from the master studio. Three large glass panels were designed above the sliding door to allow natural lighting to light up the stairwell which also turns into a romantic setting when the bedroom lights are switched off and the corridor lights stays lighted. The master bedroom now enjoys the luxury of having a grandeur double volume with a feature headboard design that subtly hides a hidden door that leads to the walk-in closet. The walk-in closet also has a rugged touch with a solid wood slab which acts as the countertop for the dressing table. Succeeding from the extension of the master bathroom, a tunneling effect is achieved upon entering this mysterious design bathroom. Large marble-like tiles were applied for the splashback and walls. By doing so, less tile grout lines were exposed which makes the design seem closer to the actual marble stones, making it look more prestigious. Glossy large tiles applied for the walls but matte surface tiles applied for the flooring to avoid anyone from slipping. The final highlight to this property is where this extended addition to the master studio is. It is a practice for the owners to work from home quite frequently and we figured why should we design a dedicated study room to face empty boring walls. That was when we decided to demolish the study bedroom wall and have a dividing TV come storage cabinet which divides the sleeping area from the work studio tastefully and yet functionally. 
This long stretch of floating study table is cantilevered with a solid steel structure which allows for flexible leg room across the entire length. I really like about the idea of study area. You get to be nosy and see what's happening out there because sometimes uh, you, you just need a bit of distraction when you need to take a break and I like the idea that I, I get to know what's going on down there because uh, my baby may be playing with something or my husband may be doing something I just want to know although I'm doing my work The most beautiful thing about this work studio is that you could go on working for hours and you would always enjoy the beauty of this property From the greens right outside the window to the ever-changing sunlight and shadows that gleams across the dramatic brick feature wall. It is undoubtedly pleasant for the owners to acknowledge this humble abode of theirs, the prominent name, the Brick House. A property's spatial quality should not be dictated by the number of rooms. You may have more bedrooms but could potentially be feeling cooped up within constrained spaces. This project is a perfect example of opening up spaces, connecting them into functional yet meaningful spaces that complement their lifestyle. As Louis Myers Van der Rohe says, less is more. My name is Alex Lee and I am for New Infinity. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button to stay in the loop of more of our compelling episodes. Thank you for watching.